and part two. It was really easy. The only thing I need to remember is when to do it. Let's find out if they kill Sormir. They didn't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna bravely run away. Because. And we're gonna leave Neela as a. Oh my god. Uh, as a suicide. Suicide scout. Run away, run away, run away. Bravely run away. It's called a tactical retreat, folks. Honest. <laughs> Let's see, so upgraded cloud temple. I need a lot of money for that. Damn. Golem factory. Sure. I mean, okay. What do we gain from that? Nine attack. Two speed and 25% extra damage from spells reduction. Not sure it's really worth the cost, but then is the breaks in time. Oh, oh, oh. Recruit them goblins, gremlins, whatever they are, I always mix the two. Probably gonna kill Neela, but we did get a little bit of X. No, they. No. I guess the computer is playing extra cautious. I don't know why. There are some weird quirks between the AI on normal and the AI on hard because the AI, uh, I, the AI on hard is. Oftentimes, really obviously cheating. Um, they kind of ignore fog of war sometimes, and especially from stuff like that replenishes fog of war, like um, the structure you can build in Necropolis. I forget the name of it right now. Cover of Darkness. Um, and the AI on normal is kind of a little bit stupid. So, there should be a step between the two, but, well, it's an old game, nobody's gonna fix that anytime soon. Time to retreat some more, though. Just because the AI is bad doesn't mean I'm going to leave myself in a position to actually suffer from it. Let's see. Upgrades, upgrade, upgrade, nothing to do yet. Okay, we can get the Brotherhood of the Sword for this. That's gonna be nice if we ever do get attacked. Oh, oh. Yeah, we're gonna kill our scouting hero, but we do get a nice look at some of their army. Let's see, so, retreat, probably a great idea here. <laughs> How much would a surrender cost? 15 gold! <laughs> I think we'd get more from a retreat, because um, it should cycle new units into our default stack. Okay, let's actually see about that. So we have... No, same, uh, same unit. Armorer, basic scholar. Let's recruit her again here. Do some more scouting, maybe? Mm, psh, nah. Wait until we get some more units for the money. Definitely. Even though we didn't make very much progress in this area, I'm really happy that there is a much longer, a much bigger buffer of scouted area between us and the enemy. 
it's gonna serve our defense very nice Lee okay upgraded cloud temple finally we can get some Titans here they're gonna cost us an arm and a leg but we can get some more Titans Any reason to visit this town? Not really. So I'm gonna keep Solmir close actually. I need to watch out for them invading now. And they actually are going to invade. Several, not several. Yeah, that's what I saw last time. I'm gonna save some money now to be able to recruit some more units. Okay, they're not invading. Phew. <laughs> Seven Titans to recruit. But we can't afford that. We can afford some Magi though. A lot of gremlins. Super useful gremlins. <coughs> Bless it. <coughs> okay. Um. Yeah, Magi. Let's do Magi. Let's do Naga Queens. And I'm gonna bring back some units for upgrade. Next turn, apparently. Let's see. Anyone worthwhile to recruit? Torosar. Sure. Whatever. And do I really need an ammo cart? How many shots do we have with the Archmage? 24 shots. Nope, not not really. Gremlins, 8 shots. Ugh. Maybe we do need an ammo cart. Versions again. Let's see. So, lots of gremlins. Great. Lots of magi. Actually, great. A few naga queens. Great as well. Maybe I can actually deal with Loinis. Sweet. That would be sweet. Hmm. How overboard do I want to go with the supply chain this time around? Very overboard? Slightly overboard? I don't think I really want to go very overboard. 
Eh, slightly over. That is enough. Ah, I did, however, forget to get the units I wanted to get for upgrading. So we have these, we have these, and that's it. Oh, stone golems. Okay, I can recruit some of those. I'll upgrade them later if that hero does survive. Which, honestly, <laughs> she doesn't really have many chances of survival considering I'm gonna use her as a scouting hero. In the meantime, we're going to save ourselves some gold for some serious recruiting in a little while. And still magic. Okay, so maybe we can take this town right here. That would be nice. Is it the enemy hero I have fear? Lots, several, lots, 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 several, several. Okay, so... If I can take the town... Several, lots, pack, pack, few, pack, few. This would be a very bloody battle. This would be a very bloody battle. Is it a fortified town? I wish I knew if it had towers. I don't remember from the icon if it has towers. I think it should have. Um, seven lots of heck. I can do change lightning a few times, which will be very nice. You know what? I think we're gonna engage here. But can we hold off against these guys? So lots. Visions gives you a basic idea of the strength of an opposing garrison. In the case of nearby wandering monsters, gives you exact numbers of troops and tells you if uh, allows you to view Nibra hero's primary skill to stick the creature types and quantity as if the hero. Okay, so let's see. What? What? Did it give me a, an error message? Oh, damn it! It's because of because of this cursed ground shit. So I can't even do chain lightning if I engage Alexandretta. Shit. Uh, 
Um, at least I found out now. Okay, so we're not engaging there yet. Let's see what visions tells us though. 35 beholders, 8 scorpicors, 21 Medusa queens, 41 harpy hags. But yeah, that's a strong army compared to what we got right now. More titans, please. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> I don't like taking bloody battles. I like to take clear-cut victories. Let's see what's downstairs. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep recruiting from my tower and when I get a sizable enough stack of units to send, I will send them to my main hero. Oh, fuck! Shit, fuck, shit, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck. So 35 beholders. Oh, and he has good attack stats and I don't... Crap. I think I'm dead. I think I'm really fucking dead. How much would it cost me? F oh my god, 30k? I don't have enough gold for that. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, son. Um, chain lightning, 275. I'm fucking dead. Um, Let's do Chain Lightning because that's the only thing we can do. I wish I had Blind. If I had Blind I could still salvage this, but I don't. Crap. I'm fucking dead. Just dead as doornails. Yeah, Chain Lightning. Wait. God damn it. Fuck. That's good at least. Let's see. So Still, who killed the Naga Queen? The Ballista? Oh my god. Nine movement points. Yeah, that's gonna be unfortunate. But we can attack these Scorpicors. Excellent. And we can send our Griffins in to get slaughtered, basically, but... Okay. And we can take down one of these cavaliers, champions, or a lot of the harpy hags. Um, a lot of the harpy hags, or one of them. Let's do a lot of happy hags. Let's do... I can do cure. 
or I can do some more chain lightning, 275. I will do more chain lightning. Uh, oh, that's funky. I wouldn't have seen that coming. Let's see. I will block the attack vector for the Titans, though. Okay, we can still salvage this, maybe. Somewhat, kind of. Okay. Oh my god, they blinded. Oh my god. <laughs> 125 Master Glimmers perish. That's so bullshit. Um, I think I can kill the Harvey Hags. No, I can't. Okay, now is definitely the time to start curing people. Who will do more damage? 36, 360 roughly, or more for the Naga Queens. Okay, so we're gonna do cure for the Naga Queens. How much? 4 turns. Okay, so it will expire soon on the Archmage. Let's see. 53... 53... Definitely in danger of dying because of them. If I wait though, that's gonna be even worse. Potentially. Um. I wanna wait. I'm gonna wait. Okay. Three Naga Queens perish. God damn it, man! <laughs> See, I told you that Blind would have salvaged this, but now he has Blind, and it's even worse for me. And I really needed to kill this stack of Harpy Hags. Fuck. Okay, so we want to cure the Naga Queens. One champion perishes. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my Titans and they're gonna die. One Titan perishes, yeah. And my I mean not they're gonna die, I mean my entire army is gonna die. Okay, so what can I do here? Uh, 124. I'm gonna lose my Titan no matter what. Uh, Naga Queen's health. Stone skin increases the Sector's unit defense strength. I can do something with that. 9, 9, 7. I can do some slow action with. Do a slow action. Can do. I can't do more chain lightning. Can do a lightning bolt. Can do an ice bolt on 21, 159. Disrupting ray. I think the only action. I'm, what of damage shield? I will do a shield on my Naga Queen. Okay, and I will actually do 25. My Titans are gonna die next hit from the champions anyway, so might as well do some damage on the Royal Griffins, I say. Crap. Ah, okay, they didn't have room to move. Attack the champions, please! See seven. And do I have enough? I have enough to cast slow next turn. But the champions outspeed me. Fucking hell. Um, if they attack my Naga Queens, I'm gonna be in deep doo doo. 
but I can still pull this off. Okay, let's do this. Oh, we fuck. Damn it, they're attacking. Okay, okay, there. They didn't attack my Naga Queens. Do I have like 20, 20, 20, 20, 40. Okay, my, my mage, I can actually kill these guys. Bless. Okay, so what can I do here? Can I do... Stone skin increases the unit's defense strength. Okay, I can do a cure. How, how much does cure heal, heal people? I think it was just 20. <coughs> First aid tent. I'm scrolling through the history to see. Sonic has cure. Nah, no, no damage cured. Information. Cure. Yeah, no damage cured information. I don't know if it would be worth it to cast cure on the Naga Queens to replenish some of their health. Hmm. I'm actually torn between that and well I would like to cast chain lightning again but I can't 159 points of damage 159 that's that would kill four five Medusa Queens I will do bless on the Archmage I good ow wait Fuck you. Okay, go. This, this, <laughs> this is a freaking tight battle. Okay, so what can I do here? Uh, nine of these. Nine of them. It's like 180-ish damage. Let's see, 122 damage on them. I would kill four. I can kill like seven or so more with my Medusa, my Naga Queens. Kill four, seven, eleven. Seven left. Okay. We're gonna do lightning. We're gonna do range blast, and we're gonna do Naga Queens. Almost enough. And they retreated. For Valorant in combat, Solomon receives four thousand five hundred and sixty-six experience points. <sighs> for a narrow victory. <laughs> um. I lost Titans, but I did I did save quite a few interesting, quite a few strong troops. We saved the Archmagi almost. Only five Archmagi lost. Nine Naga Queens lost. That's something I'm actually more sad about than losing the Titans. Yeah. Expert air, air magic, expert sorcery. Let's see what's downstairs. Yeah, we knew that was gonna happen. So time to retreat <laughs> as fast as humanly possible. I I don't know. This is I think this might be a challenging scenario simply for the amount of enemy towns that they have to reinforce from. They have a castle town here, they have an inferno town here, they have a dungeon town underground, and they have another castle town here, another castle town here. Another castle town here, I, I think, and two elf towns. There, and there. Okay, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, especially if I keep insisting on fighting with tower units. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. I really want to go and get General Kendall now. is not going to be very easy is it let's see if we can get maybe resurrection that would be great if we could get resurrection fourth level everything fun is at fourth level town portal resurrection yeah and I'm going to have to roll, probably I'm going to have a really crappy skill roll next next time I level up Solmir. <laughs> uh, this might be the first scenario I actually fail on air. Okay, hmm. let's see. Level 4 Mage Guild. Mm, complete crap. Fire Shield and Sorrow are crap. There's no doubt about it. They are actually literally crap. <laughs> uh, completely useless to get this, but I'm going to get it for completeness sake. Oh, and I forgot to crack the windows again. Damn it. Yeah, these guys they have way too many units. I should have chosen Castle as my main town. There is no doubt about it. There is no doubt about it. I should have chosen Castle as my main town. I'm not going to make very good... I'm not going to have a very good time of attacking. If I keep on with tower. I'm only going to ever have one town to recruit from. And... I'm never going to have many units while they are going to have a lot of units they're going to have a lot a lot of units uh, damn it damn it damn it damn it <sighs> i'm just so bored of playing with castle It's the obviously better choice. I didn't want to do it. Enter. I want to keep playing at least until I find out if I can get resurrection or town portal from the castle 
from the castle, uh, from the tower, mage guild. They even have better chances because of the library. You know? So... see what this guy has. Yeah, horde, throng, horde, pack, lot, several. If I can't get the resurrection or town portal at least... Okay, so we do have resurrection. But we don't have earth magic. <sighs> Magi. Naga Queens. More gremlins. Four. Oh, we need we need another eight. Okay, so need to cut these troops over in case someone wants to attack. And then next turn I'm going to recruit some more titans. Maybe we can still salvage this. Maybe. Provided the enemy doesn't attack me anytime soon until I can rebuild my tower army. I should actually visit this town with Solmir to get resurrection obviously. guys are just going to keep growing an army and growing an army. Unless I can somehow get Master Earth Magic. This is not going to end pretty. At all. Obsidian Gargoyles. And my stats on Solmir are just shit. They're great for casting. But for attack and defense, they're complete and utter garbage. Um, Through some master genies. Enforcement points alone. Okay, Naga Bank. I don't even feel comfortable engaging the Naga Bank right now. Honestly. I'm gonna visit the university, see if they give me anything. Come back when you think you're self worthy. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Level 8. How much more worthy do I need to be? need advanced earth magic in order to be able to resurrect my units. I need a lot more mana than that to use it properly. Crap. Let's 
let's see if we can recruit some more titans two more titans more magi more magi reach not really but sort of kind of probably Okay, let's visit the Naga Bank, see how, how hard our ass will, asses will be handed to us. <sighs> Fuck. Um, yeah, I can say that again. I'm really not happy about choosing Sormir and Tower as my main hero and town. Even Raisa would have been a better choice because she would have had haste, I could have had master level haste right now and that I could have done a lot of work with that. Yeah, I fucked up. Seven speed on those. Okay, let's die bravely. Yeah. Twelve gremlins in one shot, yeah, because that's the way it crumbles. Attacking that stack because it hasn't attacked yet. Yeah. Basic fucking. very happy. I'm going to go north. Maybe f see if I can find General Kendall. If I can't find General Kendall, I'm probably going to quit this scenario and start it again some other time. I'm just telling you up front. That's the way it's gonna be. That is just the way it's gonna be. I'm really not happy with, with where I am right now. It's a real shame that I would have to go with the bland choice with Castle. Yay, more humans in a fantasy setting. At least they're kinda cool, except everyone plays them if they wanna win. Ugh. Let's see if we can pass this border guard at least. It looks decent enough. Let's do a chain lightning because we can. How much damage? 437 damage. Okay, that's reasonable. Wait. Deal with the ranged. Hopefully we can get General Kendall and General Kendall won't suck like Solmir does. <laughs> Could use, I don't know, could use a scouting hero. I'm going to send this guy out and recruit another hero at home. And if the enemy attacks from the east while I'm doing all of this, then I'm definitely restarting. <laughs> of 
whites not really I'm no sorry I just no undead lower morale drastically I don't want to do that water magic at least there's that even though I don't actually want to take it <sighs> that's diplomacy why not now I finally have something that actually that just boosts knowledge and power okay great more knowledge and more power <laughs> I have a really great sorcerer hero that's nice I guess Uh -huh. So, Risa, recruiting you again. Useless. Yeah, that's nice. Excellent. Expert Diplomacy. Ah, exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. I'm not going to oppose them. Sorry. This is just not turning out right. going to recruit anyone from here they can just have everyone I don't care I really don't even care I don't give a shit they have the tower town they can have everything because <laughs> I am just giving up can't find General Kendall I pretty much don't want to continue this map no no fine let's go Wait. the pathing in the 
this game but anyway and um, yeah goodbye seven red dragons three black dragons great I'm happy dead goodbye we have that town now I have even less resources to recruit my units from this other town. I really fucked up. I really fucked up. I need to find General Kendall. Where even even is he? Engage. No, I just want to see where General Kendall is because I'm going to restart this map at this rate anyway. <sighs> I just need to find that information. Need to find the information. Just run away. Oh, he left the dragons. Yeah, I got the angel. <laughs> Dunwall. That's great. Can we recruit anyone else? <sighs> Going to have to evacuate this town soon to Twitch Point and probably just completely dead. <laughs> Dunwall persists stubbornly for no reason. Uh, that's the Griffin Morale proc I was talking about, and that's the AI being completely dumb all of a sudden that I was talking about. What do we have here? We have a city hall to Kago, but then uh, okay, that's decent. Let's see. Where is the enemy hero? There he is. Need to find Kendall. Only Kendall can save us now. Okay, there's the prison. Several devils guarding it. Okay. We're gonna do this. We're going to do this.
In the meantime, Christian is just going to annoy the enemy heroes. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's let's fight the devils. Let's fight the devils. Five and four, Jesus. Five and four. I can. What can I do? What can I even do here? Slow. Sorrow reduces the morale of the selected enemy unit, but yeah, I have no enemy retaliation. Can do slow maybe. That might ah, and they can't even reach. Okay, can do something with that. Slow on the stack of five. Okay. Sort of. Eat some fucking magic, bitches. And your own round of no enemy retaliation. Genies, two and four. I would lose some genies from this. So we're gonna defend. Okay. It's not that bad, but I hated that tech. They prioritize my Naga Queens. Basic intelligence and basic pathfinding. More stupid skill choices for Sormir. Basic pathfinding, because hey, at least it's not completely terrible. Let's free General Kendall. In a dazzling display of daring, you break into the local jail and free the hero in prison there, who in turn pledges loyalty to your cause. General Kendall, let's see. 4714. Specialty Estates. Expert artillery, expert navigation, expert mysticism, really, and expert estates. Man, your skills suck. The, the, the sad part is you're actually still better than Solmir. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe this shit. <laughs> I just can't believe this shit. Do I even want to? I mean, I'm I'm quitting this. I'm quitting this. So let's see. Back. We're going to save. We're going to save one. Dear YouTube viewers, please post in the comment section below if you think I should continue with this completely doomed playthrough to the bitter end, which is probably more than likely going to be soon, or if I should just restart the scenario next week. This is it for me for this week for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Let me just show you what we have. We have Christian just harassing enemy um, enemy resource emplacements. We have Solmir. He has 152 obsidian gargoyles, 55 archmages, 15 master genies, 13 titans, 19 naga queens, 141 master gremlins, shit artifacts, caster stats with shit attack and defense. He has expert diplomacy and basic pathfinding, which already screwed up my 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 skill plan. On top of the expert sorcery that he got from the start, which also screwed up my my skill plan. But I mean, that was an accepted thing. Um, we have General Kendall, specialty estates, expert estates, expert mysticism, expert artillery, and expert navigation, because he's an expert in all useless things. Expert air magic, expert tact is good, expert leadership kind of good, 
Yes, the Ladybird of Luck. 4 and 7 attack and defense. Shitcaster stats. This is just garbage. Um, at home, we have 31 Master Glimmons, 25 Obsidian Gargoyles, 27 Master Genies, 2 Titans, 2 Naga Queens, and 8 Arch Magi who are going to be able to reinforce my main army. In the meantime, we have people roaming around with uh, 10 dragons and comparative stacks of other units. And this is just one of the enemy heroes that attacked. There is an enemy hero with castle stacks. There is also an enemy hero with inferno stacks, which are just as strong as this guy. And I don't have advanced earth magic in, a, in order to be able to resurrect my own units and not lose out horribly every time I engage an enemy unit. Yeah. This is bad. So, please post in the comment section below if you want me to continue. If you don't post, and I will try to get this video up by Tuesday at the latest. If you don't post, I will make the decision myself next Sunday. Okay, so that's it for Heroes of Mighty Magic 3 today. Thanks everyone for watching. This has been Rexer of the YouTube channel, Not Quite There Gaming. Signing off.